I'm Matt Beshard in San Francisco for NAREACH REIT World, our 2018 annual conference. Joining me today is Dave Schulte, President and CEO of Core Energy. Dave, thanks so much for joining us. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Now, looking at Core Energy's investor profile, about 62% are institutional investors with the other 37% retail investors. Do you expect to maintain that balance? And is there a difference in how you approach those two types of investors? Well, you know, that uh, observation really goes to the genesis of our whole company. Um, the kinds of assets that we own, energy infrastructure assets, uh, today are usually held by upstream producers that need access to them and they built them, or they're held by uh, midstream master limited partnerships. And the uh, MLP structure has certain uh, challenges for institutional ownership. Having been an MLP investor for a long part of my career, I'm well aware of the fact that it's, it's challenging to receive a K-1 with operating income and character and effectively connected income if you're a non-US investor. Uh, and so they're really uh, suitable for inside ownership, uh, limited, dedicated institutional structures, and then retail. Um, on the other hand, the Real Estate Investment Trust uh, was designed to overcome those challenges when it was first introduced. And so by owning energy infrastructure inside of a REIT, we appeal to institutional investors broadly, both U.S., non-U.S., and also to retail investors who value stability in the dividend stream. Um, so we expect our ownership interest to be more institutional than retail, but to have generally the same uh, reliability of the, and, and income focus for, for both audiences. Now, Core Energy has set a target of one to two acquisitions per year. Is there a particular portion of the portfolio that you're more focused on when you're considering these acquisitions? Well, we are fo focused on as, as a strong objective of diversification across uh, the energy value chain, so upstream, midstream, and downstream, and across uh, energy commodities, both natural gas, uh, water, and uh, that's produced by natural gas and oil production, as well as, uh, as well as oil. And we have assets across those areas today. So we would expect our acquisition pipeline to look similar to the assets we own today, but extending our geographic uh, diversification. You know, one of the things that will not change uh, is our underwriting of criticality. So whether it's an oil or a gas asset, up, mid, or downstream, we want our assets to be important to the operating business of our tenant, which ensures that as long as our assets are in their possession, they're taking very good care of them, and that our revenue stream is uh, durable and reliable even during times of stress. And lastly, among your partners in oil and gas industries, what are some of the key trends that you're watching for 2019? The market has evolved pretty dramatically since the oil prices uh, collapsed in late 2014 and 2015. Uh, so that equity investors in oil and gas companies want discipline inside of the oil and gas company, meaning they need to be able to live within their means from drilling standpoint. We believe that we offer those upstream companies an alternative way to use their balance sheet. They can sell us a low risk, long duration asset and, and redeploy the proceeds into higher return activities while not levering up their balance sheet, living within their means. And uh, so we've had a lot of energy producers talking to us over the last uh, 12 months about how we can be supportive of their efforts with uh, enabling them to, st to keep the, the criticality of the asset in place for them, their operating control because the lease leaves them in control, and still provide them capital to fund their higher return activities. And uh, we expect that that message is resonating and really it's because of the overall trends we're seeing in the energy market where uh, oil price volatility and gas price volatility is continuing and investor re demands of drilling within cash flow are continuing. So we're a very good solution in that kind of an environment. Great. Dave, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for the opportunity. For more from REIT World 2018, be sure to visit NARIT's website, REIT.com.